Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, this is Lego Siri 19, Lego Siri 96. Okay, so this is part two of Lego Army Tricks. Okay, so we also know we already made this. Now we're gonna make this. Okay, let's start off. Don't break! Don't break! Shit! It broke. <sighs> Give me one minute, guys. Hold on. Let's hope the other wall doesn't break as much. Okay. Take the other wall off. Don't break. Good. We broke a little bit. Okay. So we'll start off with this. Simple as hell. Okay. And here I take three two by eights. Three of those. And put a two by four in the middle of all of it. Wait, what did I say before? No, I'll take two by three, two by fours, small these ends, and put a two by eight, two by two by four in the middle of it. So it looks like this. Okay. To take two, two by twos, and put them around the end of the two by four. Like that. Then get eight, two by three upside down ramps. So they're these. Get eight of them and put them on both sides. Put four on both sides of. No, that's dropping on the floor. On both uh, sides. Okay? So it would look just like this. Okay? Then take the six by eight and put them. And put it. That to keep it all intact, okay? Okay, now I gotta do this two times, okay? So, a second, you're going to make this piece two times. Now, this is where the sharpie's well, no, not now at the second, but it's gotta come really soon, okay? So, you're gonna take you're going to take Like 16, 16, like 16, um, one by ones, and make sure four of them I mean, make sure eight of them are white and eight of them are black, okay? And stack them all on top of each other the black ones have black ones, and the white ones have white ones, okay? Make sure there's two stacks, so there's two stacks of four each color okay and then you're gonna need you're gonna need four you need four two by fours you can see there's four of them there and stack them all on top of each other so it looks like this okay Okay, this is where you're gonna need the sharpie. Okay, hold on one second. Actually, not not right this second, but really really close. So stack them all across like this, each other, this. And now this is where you're gonna need the sharpie. On this piece, which is a one by six, is one by six. You gotta color it like this. Okay, just like that. Okay, then take it and put it. Like that. So your pieces are match up with the line. Okay. Now if you were listening, you should have did that two t you should have do that two times. Give me one second guys, this thing's breaking on me. Okay, you should do that two times. Okay, so here's a here's the other one. Now, but you're supposed to do it two times. I'm right, you're right, but just cut off one row on the bottom so they're not exactly the same height. Okay, same thing anyway. But just cut off one row on the bottom so it's not four and a stud high. It's three and a stud high. Okay, 
Just make sure it's like that. Okay. Then for the top, they're going to be different, so don't do it the same anymore. Okay. The tops are going to be... Oh, my tooth hurts. It's got my base is tied. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm losing it. I'm tired. Uh, you got to take... Um, one of these and stack it on... Let's make sure I'm doing it right. Hold on a second. Yeah, doing it right. You're going to take it and you're going to take the... You're going to take... I think six. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Yeah, you're gonna take six one by ones and put on and make sure this is the three and the stud high one wall. Put it the white ones right here. And uh I said six, so you take two black ones. Actually four black ones and make sure they're in two rows of two, two high. So put them right next to the white ones, right here and here, okay? And then there you're gonna put a one by four in between the white ones. Go ahead and get it in there. There we go, just like that. And then you're gonna take A one by six, and put it on top of everything in the middle. So it looks like that, okay? And then you could take three bendy pieces and put them all on there. Make sure they all open the same way, okay? Okay, it's like that. Good. And then for the wall that's one, two, three, four, and a stud high, you're gonna do this. You're gonna take one by four and put it in the middle. And then you're gonna need two, I mean four, one by one studs, one by one things. Okay. And you gotta put them right here, right here, right here, and right here. So I'll mix that, okay? And then you gotta take two one by, one by twos and put one right here and one right here. And take um, a grid and put it right there. And then take another two by twos, put it right there and right there. Then take the one by one and put it all the way on the ends like that. And then put it on the wall, on the base. So I can get it all in there. But it's totally breaking on me. Okay. Now you're going to take the face plate, and where the button isn't, you're going to put, like, where there's no button, you're going to put it on the bendy side. Make sure the bendies go out. My okay, guys, I almost forgot to do that. So do that. Right, make sure that that's on there. Okay, let's stick it on. That side, stick it on there. Okay, then clamp it close. Now, those open to fit your wrist. I mean, my wrist got a lot bigger since I made this, so it doesn't fit my wrist anymore. So, thing is, you're gonna have, you might have to be a kid to wear this because you have to wear a really small wrist. I mean, it does fit my wrist, but whenever I move it like that, it falls right off. Okay, so, there you go. And I promise you, this is the best Omnitrix you'll ever find on YouTube. Promise. See you, YouTube. Peace out.